with Standard Ag Diesel Solutions. Today we're getting ready to do an install on a tier 2 13.5 liter John Deere PowerTech engine on this 9320 tractor. We're going to be installing our injector driver module. The part number on this is a HP 9020. Uh, go over a few of the locations where we'll be working with today. Our injector connector is on the back of the head on this engine. It's a round plug. Uh, we'll be going there and uh, running it series with it. Then we'll also be going to our fuel pressure sensor right here behind this fuel filter element. Uh, that's a three pin female. And then we'll be running our power and ground directly to the starter. You can see that the power strap is here and the ground strap is there. Uh, relatively simple installation process. Uh, we'll go through and point everything out step by step and uh, get you guys on your way with completing this install. This module will work on the 12.5 liter and 10.5. I didn't touch base on the 10.5, but throughout this video you will notice that I might have said 13.5 liter. That is actually our HP 9030 module. But this module is for the 12.5 and 10.5 liter PowerTech John Deere engines. We'll first start off with the injector connector. As you can see, you got a better view right now at the camera angle. This needs to rotate counterclockwise, and it releases as such. Uh, be sure to clean all that area around that. You don't want any dirt to get into the terminals or the pins. We're also going to go through and remove the three pin female connector for the fuel pressure, which is behind this element here. Just got a simple tab. And on some of these, we want to touch base, as you've seen, like on our 9 liters and our 8.1s for the map sensor and the fuel rail sensor. Sometimes they have a gray protective sleeve. If there is one on there, be sure to take that off because it will not plug into our harness properly. If so, um, it's, and it's not stuck in the fitting, so we're good to go there. And then you'll need a 19 millimeter socket on a half inch ratchet or just a 19 millimeter wrench to loosen up your post on the starter for the power and ground. So we'll go through and start this process. here we took the female injector connector from our harness and plugged it right into the engine itself on the male side and then we'll take the factory female injector connector that we removed from the head to plug in to our male portion of our harness make sure that the pins are lined up these are only going to go in one way there is eight pins in here and as you can see they'll line up appropriately make sure everything clicks and snaps and is secure and then we'll now plug in our fuel rail pressure sensor and we'll route this keep it away from the engine on the factory wiring loom here that way it doesn't get hot so we'll go in and plug the female portion of our harness into that sensor you'll hear it click of course make sure they all snap As you heard it click, and then take the factory female portion of the fuel rail sensor and plug in the male portion of our harness. You heard that click too. So we will now route the power and ground to complete this install.